Hi, and welcome to my guide how to complete the Boyne Voyage quest. The quest requirement is the dig site, and you will also need to have at least 100 kudos. Varak Museum kudos can be obtained by doing the quiz in the basement, fine cleaning on the ground floor, and talking about your completed quests on the first floor. For more details, be sure to check out my kudos guide, link is in the description. There are no stat requirements, but if you want to rebuild the southern bank on Fossil Island right after you've completed the quest, then you will need to have at least 21 construction. If you want to rebuild the entire camp, then you will need to have at least 29 construction. Items needed. A Merintail Potion unfinished and two bottles of vodka. Vodka can easily be purchased from the Grand Exchange, the Polnifniche pub, the Grand Tree pub, as well as the lighthouse. For the recommended items are some weight reducing clothing, as well as one stamina potion should be enough. After the quest is completed and you want to unlock a direct teleport to Fossil Island, then you will also need to bring along a dig site pendant. If you don't know how to get a dig site pendant, then once again, link to the kudos guide and the Varak Museum guide will be in the description. And the items needed to rebuild the southern bank of Fossil Island are two oak planks, five metal nails of any kind, a hammer and a iron bar. Now, if you want to rebuild the entire museum camp after the quest is completed, you will either need to have the following items banked or noted in your inventory. These are 20 additional metal nails, 8 oak planks, 5 regular planks, but these can also be obtained on Fossil Island, 3 soft clay, 2 regular logs, 2 ropes, an additional iron bar, a tinder box and a bucket. Now after the quest is completed, I would also like to unlock the magical mushrooms for more easy teleportation methods around the island. 3 out of 4 require absolutely nothing, but the 4th one, you might either need an axe, a rake, some food and an anti-poison. You will either need to bring these 4 things or you must be able to tank 40 to 50 damage once. Alright, for the teleports, four teleportation methods to the dig site, but two is also enough. Three teleports to the sawmill, I'm gonna be using the Ring of Elements to the Earth Altar. One teleport to Verak Apothecary. One teleport to the Woodcutting Guild, located between Hosidius and Land's End. And a one teleportation method to Port Serum. Since I don't have the Cabbage Teleport on this account, I'm gonna be teleporting to Drainer Village, but the Rat Pits Teleport is also fine. Alright, where to start the Bone Voyage quest is here in the Varrock Museum, after you've obtained at least 100 kudos. Let's talk to Curator Hack Halen and select option 1 twice. After the conversation is over and you've started the quest, we will need to make our way to north of the dig site. I'm gonna be using the dig site pendant. Next, go east, and just northeast of the most northeastern dig, there you'll find the barge with a ship. There, you should find the barge foreman. Let's talk to him. And after speaking to the barge foreman, we will need to make our way to the Varrock sawmill. You could simply run northwest or teleport to the earth altar or use the sawmill teleport scroll and make your way to the Varrock sawmill. Talk to the sawmill operator and select option 4 that you're on behalf of an archaeologist uh, stuff. Next we'll need to make our way to the sawmill operator in the woodcutting guild. So make your way to Hosidius. If you do not have 60 woodcutting to access this guild, just try to open the eastern gate and Barry will give you the sawmill agreement. If you do have 60 woodcutting and you have access to the woodcutting guild, then you will need to make your way to the center of the woodcutting guild, either going via the eastern or the western entrance, and talk to the sawmill operator, select option 4, and you will also obtain the sawmill agreement. Once we have obtained the sawmill agreement, Let's make our way back to the Varrock Sawmill Operator. Select option 4 to deliver this agreement. After we have spoken to the Varrock Sawmill Operator, we will need to make our way back to the dig site. I'm gonna teleport straight there and let's talk to the barge foreman.
After we've spoken to the barge foreman, we'll be able to right click and board with the guy with the fancy red clothing and board the boat. There we'll find a couple of NPCs. Right click and talk to the lead navigator. Select option 1 and then 2. After we've spoken to the lead navigator, we will need to make our way to Port Serum. The fastest teleport would be the Cabbage Teleport, but if you don't have access to that, then teleport to the Rat Pits of Port Serum or teleport to Drainer. We will need to make our way to the pub of Port Serum, south of the Cabbage Field. Enter the pub, and there we should find Jack Siegel. Let's talk to him, and select option 2 about Cursed Voyages. After we've spoken to this guy, we'll need to make our way back to the lead navigator on the dig side boat. So get ready to teleport to the dig side again. Right click and board with the fancy clothes guy and talk to the lead navigator, so we'll tell the information about the guy that has been on a cursed voyage. Next, we will need two things. First, let's make our way to Varak and go to the Apothecary. Let's go south. The Apothecary is located southwest of the clothing store. This guy is in a lot of quests. Let's talk to him. The options are always different depending on how many quests you have completed. So, for me, this select option 3 about something else, and then 3 once again about Born Voyage. And you will need to bring him some items. Talk to him once again, select 3 3 again about Born Voyage, and he will make you a potion of sea legs. Once we have this, we will need to make our way to the limestone mine of the Rag and Bone Man quest. I'm going to be using another Lumberyard Teleport and following the path eastward to the Rag and Bowman quest start at the Limestone Mine. We will need to talk to the Odd Old Man to receive a Bone Charm for free. Simply select option 1 and then 2. After we have received this bone charm, we will need to make our way back to the lead navigator on the boat. So, let's run south or teleport with the dig side pendant back to the dig side and board the boat. Let's talk to the lead navigator to give him the potion of sea legs and then talk to the junior navigator to give him the bone charm. Or vice versa. Select option 1 after you are done to start our voyage. By making the lead navigator down two bottles of vodka, he is now unconscious and you will have to take the wheel. You will now get to feel at first hand how this voyage is cursed. And it is because of the navigation controls. Step 1, please focus on the yellow arrow at all times. That is the most important thing. When the yellow arrow tilts to the left, decrease the throttle once so you're not going full speed and then spam click on the right arrow below until the yellow arrow is pointing north again. When the yellow arrow tilts to the right, decrease the throttle once and then spam click on the left arrow below until the arrow also points north. When, for a short period of time, the arrow is pointing straight north, increase the throttle to the maximum and then click on the arrow below once to make the rubber straight. And then just keep focusing on the yellow arrow because it will start to tilt to the left or the right. Immediately decrease the throttle once and then spam click on either the right or the left arrow until it starts pointing north again. This could take you between one and a half minutes all the way up to 10 minutes.
Congratulations, you've completed the Bone Voyage quest you are awarded with one measly quest point, access to Fossil Island, as well as completed the prerequisite for Dragon Slayer 2. To get off this boat onto Fossil Island, let's right click on the Junior Navigator and travel. Before ending the video, I would first like to unlock three things here on Fossil Island. First is to rebuild the museum camp with a bank. Second, a direct teleport to Fossil Island. And third, a Fossil Island only transportation system. To fix the museum camp, let's first go east and start with the bank. Rebuild the bank using two oak planks, an iron bar, five metal nails and a hammer. This requires 21 construction to do. If you want to rebuild the entire camp, then please unnote the following items. 8 oak planks, 3 soft clay, 2 logs, 2 ropes, 1 iron bar, a tinderbox and a bucket. You may drop the fossil island notebook. This is only needed if you want to complete the fossil island notes on the collection log, but that requires at least like 3000 numelites. And you can get this book back anytime you want. Also, the remaining teleports in your inventory from the Bone Voyage quest can be stored in your bank. I do suggest to leave a Varak teleport in your inventory so we can teleport back to the Varak Museum to claim a free 2000 experience lamp. Since I cannot withdraw the 5 regular planks due to a full inventory, I'm gonna rebuild some stuff first. Just a bit northwest from the bank, at the cooking sign, build the fire pit. Then in the tent just next to the general store, rebuild the spinning wheel as well as the loom. And then east of the cooking sign, at the water source sign, rebuild the ring of stones to make a well. Let's return to the bank and grab 5 regular planks, a Varrock teleport and a dickside pendant. If you did not bring your regular planks, there are 2 plank spawns here. Hop worlds until you have 5. When you have your 5 planks, as well with the hammer and 5 nails, let's go east, east of the just rebuilt well, and there should find some table parts. Rebuild it to fix the final piece of furniture and complete the rebuild of the museum camp. Next, let's claim our reward by going west. West from the bank, follow the seashore until we see Peter panning in the sea. Talk to him and select option 1 to receive 5 small fossils. These fossils have 3 uses. The first one is that you can exchange them for 100 Numelite each which is the currency on this island, by trading the fossil collector next to the bank. But I do not suggest you to sell these for Numelite unless you have first filled the Varrock Museum. For the second and third usage, let's go east, back to the rebuilt table, back to the table we have just rebuilt, next to the well, and next to the cleaning table you will find a crate. Take one cleaning kit, and then wear the boots and the gloves. When worn, use the 5 fossils on the cleaning table one by one to get 5 bones. Now there are two things you can do with these bones. One, you can enrich these bones north on the island in the small pool and then these bones will provide you with 500 prayer experience each. But since I don't have a chemist's degree to enrich these, I'm going for option 2. Option 2 is I'm gonna be adding them into the Vrock Museum display for a 2000 experience lamp. To not have to deposit these bones into my bank, just a bit southwest from the cleaning table is a fossil storage. In there, you can store all your clean fossils and they will teleport straight to the Vrock Museum. Good! The museum camp has been rebuilt. The next thing that I want to do is unlock a direct teleport to Fossil Island. Therefore, we need a dig site pendant. When you have one, go north from the camp under the road bridge that we need to cross. Use your minimap and go to the western shortcut sign. 
climb the ladder, cross the road bridge, and go back down the ladder, and then simply follow the path to the house on the hill. The entrance of the house on the hill is on the western side. Climb upstairs, and there you will find a strange machine just south. Use your dig site pendant on it to unlock the Fossil Island Teleport. When you now rub the dig site pendant, it will now show you two options. When you select Fossil Island, the pendant will now be able to teleport you to the strange machine here in the house on the hill. Finally, I would also like to unlock a Fossil Island transportation system. Here, just north, is a magic mush tree. Click on it to unlock it. And as you can see on the interface, there are three more magic mush trees to unlock. Let's exit the house on the hill, back to the rope bridge, cross it, and then run northwest until you see the next transportation sign. Just north of the dungeon sign, for the Wyvern Orony Slayer dungeon, is the second magic mush tree. Click on it to unlock it, and then run east northeast. Let's run to the corner of this island. There is a rowboat, but there will be some crabs attacking you, so when you travel with the boat, keep pressing number 3, and then it should take you to a small island. Here, on this small island, there will be a dive option on the rowboat. If you select this option, you will dive underwater, where you can do stuff like seaweed farming and drift net fishing. Now, the reason why I came here on this small island is to use the bank. To unlock the third tree, that doesn't require anything, but the fourth one does. To reach the final magic mesh tree, we will either need to tank a 40 to 50 hit once, or we will need to have a rake, an axe, an antidote, and some food to pass aggressive tar monsters with a max hit of 18. After unlocking the final mesh tray, I would also like to show you how to get that 2000 experience lamp for rebuilding the museum camp. It is located in Varrock. So, I'm also going to be making sure that I bring a Varrock teleport. And just to be sure, I'm also going to be taking an additional stamina. When you're ready, let's go unlock the final two. Travel with the rowboat and select the third option to the museum camp. At the camp, run east back to the cleaning table. At the cleaning table, go further east and follow the path. You'll pass the ancient wyvern cave. Just keep going south, following the kind of path, until you see a patch of grass. From there, go east. You'll see a transportation sign on your minimap. Use your minimap and go to that transportation sign, which is the third magic mush tree. On our way there, we are also passing some ash piles that you can mine. The mined ashes can be put in a bucket of super compost to make it into ultra compost. Activate the mush tree and then select the fourth option, the mushroom meadow. When you're back at the herbivore hunting ground, go south to the swamp. 
Now there are two ways to reach the final mush tree. The first one is to take the mushroom shortcut in the northwestern corner, which will take you right next to the magic mush tree, but that shortcut will deal between 40 to 50 damage. If you have less than 50 HP and you really want to unlock the fourth and final magic mush tree, then you will have to go through the swamp and tank the tar monsters, which have a max hit of 18. You will arrive next to the magic mesh tree, simply unlock it and okay, thanks, bye. If you're taking the slow route, just southwest of the rubber cap, chop the thick vine tree and run south. Keep going south, chopping the vines, ignore the tar monsters. Also, you cannot use protect from magic or protect from ranged. These monsters will always deal damage. Use your minimap and go as far as possible south. When you can't go any further, either chop or clear the vines and then do it again. Go as far as possible south, chop the vines and go further south until you see the transportation sign to your east. Go around it via the southern side to the magic mush tree. And click on the final mush tree to completely unlock the mycelium transportation system. Now there's only one more thing to do, and that is to claim our reward for rebuilding the museum camp. To do so, let's make our way to the Varak Museum, and go to the basement. Climb down the stairs and behind those stairs they'll find another stairs going to B2F. And next to the stairs you'll find another fossil storage. Open it and take all the five fossils. Next go west or east, it doesn't matter. In both the western and the eastern room, they'll find some fossil displays. Add to a small fossil display five times, and after adding the fifth one, you will be rewarded with two kudos, as well as an XP lamp granting you 2000 experience that you can put on any skill of your liking. Sub, like, and comment. Okay, thanks, bye bye.